is the question number uh, 16. It reads one half of a rod of length 100 centimeter has density rho 1 which is 0 0.5 and uh, other half has a density rho 2 which is 2.5 gram per cc. The rod is placed on a horizontal bottom of a large tub and then water is gradually poured into the tub. Find the depth of the water in the tub when the rod makes angle theta which is 53 degree with the horizontal density of the water is known to us. Now this is a rod placed when you pour the water then you find this will start lifting up right so and it's not attached anywhere. However this is not uniform it's a half portion is of different density another half is more density or, or, or different density. Now if you look at the average density that turned out to be 2.5 point plus 0.5 by 2 that is basically 3 by 2 that's 1.5 and the density of water is 1 gram per cc that means this is more denser so that means uh, it will not float it will sink so it will have a contact with the ground or, or bottom of the tube uh, this tub so you'll find uh, uh, at theta angle which is 53 the rod will look like this so a denser denser portion will be downside a rarer portion will be upside let's h height of the li uh, this liquid water is there this angle is theta so we can have a bd of this rod you'll find normal ratio will be acting at point this and uh, this half will have a little mass m2 so m2g will be acting at the center of this uh, lower half and m1g will be acting at the center of the upper half and that having a density root row one buoyancy is going to act at the mid of the uh, submerged portion now this FB is uh, at the mid of the submerged portion as I told and this total submerged length can be calculated by using theta and h. So immersed length of the rod is going to be Li which is going to be if we consider this Li then this is perpendicular h then theta then you'll find h by sin theta. h by sin theta is going to be this immersed length. Now again torque about A must be zero of this rod it must be balanced right. So you'll find this M2G torque m1g torque both will be acting in clockwise sense and fb torque will be acting in anti-clockwise sense so m2g into the perpendicular distance now you find the total length is l so half is going to be l by 2 this will be acting at the mid so this will be l by 4 that's uh, this version which is cos version so l by 4 cos theta so m2g into l by 4 cos theta will be the torque of m2g about this point a in clockwise sense similarly the torque of m1g is going to use this length which is going to be basically total length minus l by 4 that is 3l by 4 and cos theta this must be called to the uh, torque of the buoyancy buoyancy force into the distance the distance perpendicular distance is going to be this this is going to be half of the immersed portion that means h by 2 sin theta into cos theta why because we need to have a we need to take this uh, perpendicular component now you'll find uh, this row 2 could be written as uh, this m2 could be written as row 2 into a into the length which is l by 2 g and whatever it was written m1 similarly could be written as row 1 into the volume which is a into l by 2 a is a cross-sectional area and whatever written this side is as such uh, here i have written the buoyancy expression buoyancy is going to the density of uh, liquid water which is rho into the submerged area submerged volume Submerged volume is going to be A into the submerged length which is H upon sine theta into G so that's buoyancy and rest is as such. Now you take you will find cos theta getting cancelled out right and from here A is getting cancelled out from here G is getting cancelled out so here you'll find uh, rho 2 into L square by 8 from here you'll find 3 rho 1 L square by 8 so we take this L square by 8 as a common so it becomes rho 2 plus 3 rho 1 is equal to in this side you'll find rho into h square and downside you'll find 2 into sine square theta rest have been cancelled so from here h square turn out to be uh, 2 and 8 is settled to 4 so it will come l square sine square theta divided by 4 into 3 rho 1 plus rho 2 divided by rho so h finally comes out to be uh, by taking a square root both side it turn out to be l sine theta by 2 within root 3 rho 1 plus rho 2 divided by rho this is the expression of the height up to which if the water goes then this rod which is non-uniform will make angle 53 with the horizontal. Now these numbers are known to us we can put the value and we can get our answer. So L is 100 centimeter and sin theta that means sin 53 will become 4 by 5 divided by 2 under root 
density of 1 is 0.5 into 3 so 1.5 density of 2 is 2.5 divided by density of water which is 1 everything is a CGS so that becomes uh, square root of 4 that turn out to be 2 2 and 2 getting cancelled out ultimately it's 400 by 5 that is basically 80 centimeter so numerical value is 80 centimeter and this is the expression for the answer I hope you got a simple equilib rotational equilibrium that you need to manage and properly write these uh, talks. Also, this buoyancy force is important and from here we find this H value. Okay, thank you.